Hi, it's Dr. Long with Midwest Low Vision, and as a low vision specialist, today I want to show you some ways that I can help our patients see to play cards. Take a look because some of these things also apply to other tasks where we need intermediate vision, maybe near vision, and some other distances. So if you have any feedback, feel free to reach out. Also subscribe to the channel, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Man, I can see from all the way over here. I can see the front desk. Crazy. All right, thanks for watching and listening. Before we get started, realize that not only can some of these adaptations help with playing cards, but they can be useful for other intermediate tasks, say 20 to 40 inches away, such as computer, um, board games, puzzles, writing, reading music, doing certain crafts, shopping, um, and many other things where we need that middle sort of a distance. Let's go through and we'll start from simplest and work our way toward more complex. The first and most obvious thing I think is large print playing cards. Next would be special lighting accommodations and considerations. So uh, as we know, there's an inverse square law with light. So the closer we get that light, the brighter it is. And it doesn't double, but if you move it twice as close, it's actually four times brighter three times closer, it's nine times brighter, and so on. So please remember that. Um, another thing that can help with patients whose vision uh, it hasn't gotten too bad. So let's say they're 2060, 2070, 2080, no worse. A simple eight by 35 or executive type trifocal might help so that they can see the cards through the middle um, on the table and see the cards in their hand out of the bottom. Uh, next would be a high add sort of a bifocal. So if they were in that range of vision or just beyond, they could use a high add bifocal for the cards in their hand and possibly use a handheld spotting scope to see the cards on the table. Just be careful that you're prescribing something that focuses near or at least up to that distance on the table because many um, binoculars won't do that. Certain spotting scopes won't either. So pick one that, that does focus close enough. Next would be bioptic telescopic glasses. So that could be autofocus, such as the uh, Occutech Falcon. It could be focusable, which a few companies make those. Um, and it could also be a fixed focus where you would place a cap on the lens. So a patient might have a fixed focus bioptic for driving, but then through the use of a cap that they could put on the lens, it could refocus them to a distance uh, on the table. I've actually prescribed that for Texas Hold'em players and casinos, and it works quite nicely. Next would be a full diameter telescopic pair of glasses that maybe the patient has for television or other distance uses. They could place a bifocal or a split cap on that lens. And here you'll see an example of that. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now these obviously are large print cards. Right. So, Finally, for our patients who have gone beyond what we can do with traditional optics and via other means such as lighting and large print, a wearable video enhancement system, so a head-worn system such as an eSight, Patriot Viewpoint, AceSight, New Eyes, there's so many out there, but um, there are a few features that most of them share that can be very helpful for this type of a task where you need to see at different distances. One, of course, is autofocus, um, but another is the larger field of view and the contrast and light enhancement can be very helpful for our patients. So thanks for watching and listening. This is Dr. Long again with Midwest Low Vision. 